So early on, how does this difference manifest itself between the male and female brain? When you look at very young infants and very young children, what do we see that distinguishes the boys from girls? Right, I think that's important to kind of look at because, of course, that marination of that testosterone on the male brain that's changed that circuitry into male brain. And it's, of course, the most important area that's grown in the male brain during that marination is an area in the hypothalamus called the area for sexual pursuit that grows uh -huh. to be 2.5 times larger in the male brain than in the female. Wow. So okay. Mother Nature made it so that you guys have a very important purpose. You're supposed to search out fertile females and impregnate them. So you're gonna, you've done your job when you've done that, according to Mother okay. Nature. Right. Whereas the females, what we need to be able to do is to keep helpless infants alive. Hmm. Nonverbal helpless infants up to about you know two years old, we have to be able as females to read subtle expressions, verbal, emotional, all kinds of cues that the infant is communicating to the mom. Now these are pretty much hardwired in the female. Mother Nature wasn't going to leave that to just, you know, to our choice. Uh -huh. She was going to hardwire it in terms of hormones as well as in terms of our circuitry. So what happens at birth is that we pop out into this world either with male brains or female brains and bodies.